Hello viewers and thank you for joining us on the Samsung Mobile Kenya YouTube page. Today we shall be having a quick run through the Samsung Galaxy Smart Manager application that's on the Galaxy S6. We've got the Galaxy S6 Edge with us today. S6 Edge in a very brilliant, nice gold color. And as you can see, that shimmers and shines really beautifully. Actually one of the best colors on the S6 you can get out there. So we're gonna have a quick look at, the, at an application called the Samsung Galaxy S6 Smart Manager. And what this application does is give you a very quick and very useful overview of some important vitals on your smartphone. Now, some of you who may already own the Galaxy S6 may have possibly overlooked this application. And for those of you who just want to know a bit more about what preloaded applications come on the Galaxy S6, this video will be pretty good for you as well. So on your Galaxy S6, you'll find an application called the Galaxy Smart Manager. When you click on that, you're greeted with this user interface here, and it shows you a summary of um, your battery status, your storage status, your RAM status, and also your device security. So this actually acts like a dashboard, and not only does it give you an overview of certain information in these four key areas, but it lets you manage them as well. So we'll have a very quick look at um, what the Galaxy Smart Manager lets you do in all these four areas. We'll start with the battery, and you can see at the moment it's telling us we've got 57% battery left. But if we click there, we get a better breakdown of that information with estimated usage time remaining. If you click on battery usage, it actually even gives you specific information on what applications are using how much battery on your device. So pretty useful, especially if you suspect that your uh, Galaxy S6, an application on your S6 is using, using uh, an abnormal amount of battery, you can actually check that uh, there as well. You've got a power saving mode option here. Most of us are already familiar with the power saving mode. You can actually activate it from the notification bar. But if you navigate through the smart manage manager, you actually get additional uh, functionality from this and additional options. Currently, I've got the power saving mode turned on. But if I actually click on this option here, start power saving, I can actually select at which point the Galaxy S6 automatically engages its power saving mode. Now, let's say at 20%. So immediately the phone actually reaches 20% battery, it will automatically engage power saving mode and actually saves you the thought process of engaging power saving mode by yourself. At times you may be carrying your smartphone around and you think it's on power saving mode only to find out that it wasn't on power saving mode. So this actually saves you a lot of trouble and does the work for you. So very quickly, let's go into the ultra power saving mode. This actually gives you extended usage of your uh, battery at very low percentages. And what it does is when you activate it, it will actually turn the screen of the phone black and white to save on power and only give you access to really important um, information and, and really important features of the phone. So phone call and messaging, your internet browser as well. And you can also add some applications here. You can actually add your Facebook and WhatsApp to ultra power saving mode. If you look here at the bottom, at 57% battery, I can actually get an additional 18 hours and 45 minutes extra usage time if I'm on ultra power saving mode. This uh, extended usage time will actually depend on how much percentage of battery you have left over, but the ultra power saving mode is a really, really convenient feature on the device, and it will actually prevent you from running out of battery and basically finding yourself in a hard spot where you can't use your mobile phone. So by engaging ultra power saving mode, you can actually save yourself a lot of trouble that comes with having a dead battery. So let's disable that and look at the other um, uh, smart manager features. So um, power saving mode is disabled now. Let's get back into the smart manager. In the storage section, again, a quick overview of uh, how much storage is, has been used on your Galaxy S6. You can break down into further detail there. Um, there's an interesting section here, unnecessary data. Now, unnecessary data could be 
empty folders of uh, uh, empty folders on your Galaxy S6. They could be internet cache files that build up over a uh, prolonged time during your browsing. And those can actually take up a lot of space on your device. So you have the option to actually delete them. And what the smart manager does is that it picks out and identifies all the unnecessary data and clears them out. Depending on how long you've been using your smartphone, then you might be able to clean up a lot more uh, unnecessary data from your device. This is a fairly new device, so we only have 1.67 megabytes of unused, uh, unnecessary data. When you come into the user data section here, if you press detail, you can actually now delete specific items at your own discretion and free up space there as well. Now, this particular interfaces of the smart manager actually save you a lot of time because you don't have to navigate through settings or menus to find these specific uh, functions on your device, whether you want to clear your storage or whether you want to check your battery status. If you want to check your RAM, also um, given a quick summary there as well, it gives you a quick summary of the active applications, and you can actually choose to end all of them. This could be applications that are running in the background, or they could be applications that you have left open, and they could be actually taking up a lot of um, uh, the performance of your phone and slowing it down. So through the Smart Manager, when you clear your RAM, you can actually ensure that your smartphone is running in at almost 100% or in tip-top condition. If you break down into detail there, you can actually check according to downloaded apps, running apps, or all the apps installed on the device. Let's say, for instance, I've got the um, Microsoft OneDrive application here. I know currently that I'm not using it, but it's running in the background, so I can simply end there, and I've already freed up about 1% extra RAM, store, uh, RAM, RAM space on that as well. Now, when we go into device security, which is the last one here. Um, under device security, you can actually perform a virus scan. The Galaxy S6 comes with an inbuilt antivirus, so you don't have to go into a Play Store and start looking around for an antivirus. It's actually built in. It's uh, an antivirus powered by McAfee. Um, the antivirus actually automatically updates itself as well. Up above here, You've got two options. You've got, you've got Knox Active Protection. For those of you not familiar with Knox, Knox is Samsung's very own defense grade uh, mobile security system. And when you turn on Knox Active Protection, uh, this Knox system actually begins to actively monitor your Galaxy S6 to ensure that there are no malicious attempts to interfere with the system files or modify the system files or no um, uh, malicious attempts by either viruses or, uh, or any other malware to actually interfere with the phone. So as soon as it detects any interference that is unauthorized or unusual, then it actually blocks it, especially not only during operation of the phone, but also during startup of the phone. So if you want that added protection and extra peace of mind, you can turn on, turn on your Knox Active Protection and the Knox system will secure your Galaxy S6. Now on top here, we've got separate work from play and you've got an option there, install My Knox. My Knox is an application that actually allows you to divide your Galaxy S6 into two separate uh, personalities or two separate environments where you can have all your personal files and applications on one side and all your business-related or work-related applications on another area of the phone, which is highly secure and only accessible and viewable by you. So when you install Minox, you'll be able, able to actually almost partition your device into two. Um, you will however need an, uh, to have a Microsoft Exchange Active Sync account to enable and use Minox. So if you actually, um, back to the antivirus, if you press scan device, uh, it will actually begin to scan for any threats. And if there are any threats, it will highlight them and you'll be able to clear them out as well. Now, you can actually have the option to clean, clean all the areas we've had a look at if you don't, if you don't want to actually go individually in, into all four areas. And if you're comfortable with that, just press clean all and you'll clear all those areas. Now, the Smart Manager can actually be set up as a widget on any of your empty home screens. And you can do that by simply long pressing on any empty home screen there and clicking on the widgets. If we navigate to the left, there is a Smart Manager widget, and let's just drag it there, and there you have it. And you can quickly access any of those four key areas that we've had a look at, quick and easy. 
So that's been a quick overview and quick look at the Galaxy S6 Smart Manager. If you're not using it, go ahead and uh, give it a try. Very convenient uh, application for actually managing your phone, especially in terms of RAM storage and also securing your phone and performing regular virus checks to ensure that your, your Galaxy S6 is actually running in tip-top condition. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.